Okay, it's that time again. It's another CAD Red commentary, another CSS VOD, all a bit of a mouthful. But uh, first thing I want to do is thank all the people who sent in Source TV demos from games saying, you know, you've got to do a VOD of this. And apologies if we don't get around to them, and I'll, I'll tell you why, because a lot of time goes into these. Not necessarily the recording of them, that takes about an hour, all things told. But then once you've got them and you have to render them uh, in Vegas or Premiere, whatever program you're doing, that is about six hours. Then after that, I've got to upload them. And because I live in the United Kingdom, where we've got third world internet and a lot of things third world, actually, uh, it's a 10 hour job to upload a file. So we are trying to do as many of them as possible. I know there's a lot of clan based Nations Cup games that we really want to do. But we have to prioritise, and that brings me to the game that I've got for you today, which is the Spiritland Finals. Everyone was like, wow, we really want to vote this. And I totally dig it, because it was uh, the first major uh, kind of event with big teams attending. We've got very games, and uh, Thermal Take Dragons in the final. And a little bit of background about it, because I do see people asking questions in the YouTube channel which you would know if you came to Cadred.org regularly you would know the answers to these questions so I can only stress it just if you do use the YouTube channel but not the website you're not really getting the full experience and you should come along to the website and uh, get involved but uh, Very Games number one team in the world uh, just won the Cadred award for team 2011 and uh, they've been you know around the block they lost uh, two of their players that, that were seen as kind of pivotal in their success. Uh, in the Obviously, it was Shox and Smith. Then they had to replace them. Uh, Smiths and, and, and Shox, in the meantime, of course, have got, cr took some of the boys from LDLC, I think it was, and XOXO, whatever you want to call them. Created their own team. They've been picked up by Thermal Take Dragons because they're a fantastic talent. And Very Games have replaced those guys with some kind of lesser known players. Not lesser known in the sense that they're bad or it's a risk or it's a gamble because they are talented players uh, but really they're not quite in the same league in terms of experience and achievements and that's namely Apex and MK. Now this event sees those two teams come together uh, and before this game they'd already played in the upper bracket uh, on Tuscan and very games had won. This was the final, it was inevitable that these two teams would meet again and obviously, Thermal Tech Dragons need two maps, having come from the lower bracket. Very Games only need one. And this was really about who was going to go into this 2012 season, the big events coming up in April, as the number one team, the one that people think are going to do well. And loads of people were back in Dragons, not Very Games off uh, their throne. A load of people say Very Games can't be touched. So it was a really, really crucial match in uh, the grand scheme of things and what we would have in store for 2012. First map was Inferno. I know we're all familiar with that. Commentated a lot of those. But we're just going to get straight down to it. And uh, ultimately, whatever the outcome, uh, you know... The, these two teams are literally going to be there or thereabouts at the top of the scene. There's no denying how strong the French scene is and uh, how much talent there is. So, quick look at the uh, teams here. And again, you can see Shox there with his uh, trademark Jesus in his name. It's not because he thinks he's Jesus. I think he's secretly a deeply religious man. So, uh, there we go. A bit like Tebow uh, from anyone who follows American football. And, of course, there's a very game side. So... This is all fairly uh, standard stuff on the pistol. Very game starting on Terrorist. And uh, Existence just spamming through some smoke there while we're waiting. And you can see that Uzi has run around and got that first frag. This is very aggressive uh, pistol strat on the CT. RPK does answer back immediately. He's going to get a nade in there, but they're backing off because they've got the trade. That's really all they needed. And uh, you can see as well... That Apex is incredibly low on this pistol round. Uh, only got 3 HP left after that exchange. MBK as well very low. So not looking good. One timely nade. Could really rinse out the very game's uh, plan for this round. But of course their aim is phenomenal. Shocks there. Just in that kind of trademark position. He 
does like to play this. He knows they're going to be coming up. So he's just going to hide in the graveyard spot. Watches one guy get out. Malik's going to get one scream. He's going to get another in the shot. Because he is going to get that kill. Which leaves Apex. I mean, you could just blow on him and kill him at the moment. So he's not going to get a kill. That's a great round for Thermal. Take Dragons on the pistol. as uh, CT on Inferno. So, we should see two rounds going the way of Dragons. But uh, it's a really good spawn here for Very Games. And uh, with Deagles as well, we know how good these players are with the Deagle. RPK, MBK. Existence, certainly no slouch either. They get a face full of shrapnel and they are going mega aggressive here. It seems on Manana. I mean, RPK, the tank, he's right up there just with a bomb. No fear in it. And you can see Scream just kind of on the other side there. Uh, run about the new box area <clears throat> behind the oranges. And RBQ has only took uh, 1 HP damage. So they're going to creep round now and try and make it look like they have rotated. And then it's going to be fast. We're going to get this flash over. Then they've got to check this oranges area. And Scream's just going to pop out and take RPK out of the round. And then he's going to get another. We're coming around quick. MBK is going to get uh, the kill on Scream. And he's immediately going to turn his attention to that spawn area. He knows where they're coming from. Gets Malek with a nice little one dig. He's going for another one. Complete confidence in his ability to make these shots as well. And by the time you watch this, you'll have seen that MBK will have won Player of the Year by a single vote. Shocks being in second place in the uh, Cadre Awards. Uzi is going to get uh, MK. After MK gets one, and then in the end, MBK couldn't get that kill. He was going to get Crab Claw by Smiths and Uzi. And uh, it was a good deco round, but uh, ultimately, it still goes the way of the Dragons. And uh, I think, yeah, we, yeah we're going to see it full eco here because we haven't had the plant. That Tika round was expensive. Not a great spawn. Looks like we're going to have uh, a slight pause here. Don't know if someone's timed out or whatnot. We'll find out shortly. Okay, it wasn't a slight pause. It lasted uh, a good six to seven minutes. But um, we're back in the action now. So I'm uh, not sure what that was about. Something obviously occurring because this was at LAN. And we can see uh, Very Games here are going to just group up and go for this uh, pistol push here. We're with RPK. And uh, headshots occurring. Malak is going to get one. He's going to get two. Uh, MBK is going to get one. The Scream's just going to wade in and mop everyone down. And that was a FAMAS crossfire from hell. And that round was just over so quickly. So rare you see very games. Even with Deagle shut down like that. So uh, wonder how this is going to be played. We uh, can see that MBK here. It's just... Oh yeah, he's not uh, playing for that... Well, Smith is going to get that entry frag in the meantime. I was going to say, he's not going to play for that pick. And it was Existence who's picked up the orb to go and do it. And, uh, well, his old teammate is going to get that entry frag. So, Barry Game's really struggling here. And every time they peek in these very passive kind of situations that... Uh, the Dragons are uh, engaged in. They're getting absolutely owned at the moment. Sure, this is the first buy round, but already they're a man down. That's a great pick from Apex. We're going to move to him now. He's just going to creep through in the smoke. Going to go to the old Jenny spot. He's trying to work his magic. Already seen what Apex can do in the game against Code Red Gaming, but it doesn't matter. Scream is having a blinder so far. RPK is going to get Uzi, and then we're going to cut to Scream. He's going to get wise that no one's there, I think. He is going to hit the rotate. You can see MBK is just coming up quad. They're all over the site. RPK is trying to get that plant. He's not going to get it because Shox is going to get two. And Smiths is going to mop up his old uh, colleague as well. RPK. And that round was shut down very quickly. At no point did Berry Games look like they were going to get a bomb plant. And at no point did it look like they were in control of the round. They were ruined right from the start. Existence went for that pick. And uh, was hugely unfortunate. So... We got some deagles being bought here. Where are they going to go? Let's get to the head of the pack. And uh, it looks like they're just going to kind of 
bizarrely set up for uh, an almost as if in an anti eco set up themselves. Gonna go here to apartments and shocks. He's working that one bullet with the AK. Probably the best rifler in the world at the moment. I'm sure there's some people in the US seeing that maybe would dispute that and credit the likes of Anger uh, as being that. But certainly when it comes to one bulleting people with an AK, I've not seen many people do it better than shocks. Uh, the spread out across the map here. I don't know what they're hoping for. Very games. Smiths is going to get that frag again. And uh, there's Scream. We come back to him. Is he going to get another? He's just going to drop. Yep, he is. Existence just sort of running in and, and facing him. In the meantime, that's going to allow MK and RPK sharing that case. Her name that come up. And Smiths is just going to be waiting. MK's not going to get him. Smiths is going to get him. It's 5 0. We'll have a look at the frag charts. You can see immediately Scream having a great start to the proceedings. He's on 10 for 1. Uh, 7 0, though, is Smith. So that's uh, worth mentioning. And perhaps also worth mentioning, you can see Existence has yet to get a frag. MK's only got one, and Apex has only got one as well. So the new guys down at the bottom with their captain. So. And uh, existence has gone to this uh, little house window. Just having a little quick spam there. Not quite sure what that was about. But uh, looks like, yeah, we got some action in the apartments. Nothing too aggressive. Just dropping off. And it's very hard to pick where the points of contact are going to be at the moment. Because very games just don't seem to have that usual aggressive confidence that you see. Especially on Inferno. I mean, it's not a bad map for them seen them take many teams apart on this certainly it might not be as strong as dust 2 or tuscan and, uh, rpk here it's just uh, in boiler and, yep they're gonna go for it they're gonna go up quad now that that nades him rpk well he's got a face full of flash existence is gonna get the entry kill on uzi and rpk is just looking for the guy in the pit trying to work his aim it's smiths i think no, it's actually Shocks in the pit. Smiths is working the op from Arch. And uh, RPK can't get his uh, rifling counterpart to peak. MK's going to get him in the moment. That was a great shot there from RPK. He turned around and took down the AWP of Smiths. And uh, with just an amazing flick shot. MK, in the meantime, is going to get another one. And this looks like it could be the first round for very games. It certainly is. It's now 5-1. But they're going to need to get more than just this. Uh, certainly... We're used to seeing them hit the ground running. And right now they're having a battle away just to get anything hit. Money situation still looking very good for the Dragons. So uh, they're going to be able to buy. And I think we're going to see a similar setup to last time. Maybe they're going to fancy apartments. I don't know if they're not being very aggressive on apartments out of respect to shocks. But here we go. This is the trade. And we've got RPK coming in. He's just trying to... Get that kill. He's not going to get it. Uzi's just going to uh, run from side to side. Really frustrate everyone. Then he's going to hide in bedroom. Flash and then push to the end with shocks. So that double stack on apartments proved to be good. But existence has already pushed up quad. And so is MBK. And they came out into a volley of bullets. Which has put them in a really strong position now to get this plant. Ferry games. And uh, they went very quickly. They knew that Uzi was low. And that's just smart, smart play. And now they're just holding. Holding off the plant, just waiting for it. You can see Malek. wonder if that J stands for Jesus as well. There's a lot of uh, Jesus love going on. He is a pretty sound bloke, I suppose. And, uh, well, there's MBK getting another kill. And Malek's just going fast here. He's just going to get a face full of uh, back, which is always beautiful. But in the end, MK's going to get him down before he does too much damage to make it the second round for very games and uh, we'll quickly go back to the score charts scream hasn't really improved on his 10 so he's now on 10 for three smith has gone eight for two it's a bit different from his uh, seven and oh mbk is at uh, top of the charts on seven for six and down at the bottom you got apex on one for six i was impressed with him when i saw him make his debut for very games but uh, seems to be struggling a little bit here
and uh, this is a, always a good spot here. If you've seen this one before, this is when you do the uh, the double boost. So I think he's got under Malik there, but you can see through this gap. And again, it's always nice to watch these teams uh, use these things, so you can go out and take these and put these in your own game if you weren't already aware of uh, how to do it. But yeah, you do a little crouch stack there, and you can just look through that gap. Makes returning fire very difficult, but of course you have got to get the headshot, and Uzi hasn't. RPK and Apex have just pushed up here. And uh, yeah, but this is going to be another round of very games, almost certainly. And there's Apex with another kill. He's going to get shocked. So we're quickly moving around. And it is just a deco round as well from the Dragons. And uh, Smith, he's been making this deagle work already today. He is going to get one, but Apex is going to get him. And Apex is loving the fact that it's a deco round. Scream's going to get one. MK's going to get the last. And uh, in the end, no surprises on the card. It's now 5-3. to three. In favour of the Dragons. But uh, we're going to see a buy round now. And Very Games are clawing their way back into it. Which obviously they uh, needed to do. And of course remember this is a, a grand final. So uh, they came from the upper bracket. They only need this map. To win the competition. Which was the first real big competition in 2012. The first big LAN competition. MBK now has decided to uh, switch from rifle and move over to the AWP. I think that's where he's at his best. But, uh, well, that's happened. Scream's pushed to the car. And despite just kind of going from side to side behind it, I mean, that car, please remove it at some point. It's just stupid how instructable it makes you. We're going to do the little Kodiak boost. Nothing there. And... Uh, quickly move to scream cam because he's been doing quite well I mean, not giving him any attention a lot of people felt he was the mvp uh, of the event which he needed because he was bitterly disappointing at eswc i i think everybody is aware of that And uh, there's nobody home, so Smith is going to get one, and MK's going to get the trade, and then he's quickly going to look. He nearly walked right into the rotator, Malek, and uh, he's got to be more aware for that. He does get the headshot, but, uh, well, oh, we've missed a double deagle of absolute destruction there from MBK. And he's going to join RPK here. RPK's going to get the headshot, and uh, MBK's only on 2 HP, but I tell you what, he was low when he made that double. Still absolutely lethal. So we're going to go to Clutch Cam. It's Scream. He's going to know that uh, MBK's low. That's going to be called. So he's going to look to get him first. He's probably seen moving into the pit area on a death cam. So really? Yeah, there it is. He's going to get the dab. So it's all about this Clutch now. Scream on RPK. And the new kid on the block has taken down the old master for a great Clutch. It's going to make it 6-3 now. Uh, in favour of the Dragons. And uh, it takes a lot of stones to make a 1v2, be it low HP or not, against anyone in very games. So, uh, full credit to Scream there. And that's, uh, I imagine, yep, you can see immediately 17 for 4 with that defuse. Already got, well, should get his 20 bomb. I was going to say it's already in the bag, not quite. But uh, should have it. MBK still top of the charts. Existence back down at the bottom for 2 for 6. And Uzi... And Shoxy, funnily enough, only got three frags. So they're spread out again. MBK seems to just be soaking up bullets at the start of every round. And you can see there he's not really enjoying the jump. Going to try and boost up on this ledge. This is the moment where someone just runs around the corner and shoots you in the side. It's very frustrating. MBK might be player of the year. Probably needs some jumping lessons. You can see he's just peeking coils. And they've been quite bold. They've not changed their setup at all, Dragons. They uh, pretty much played in the same positions and just have absolute confidence that their flashes and crossfire are going to do the work. So, makes it easy for the picks, but they've not really been able to work them. And you can see they've managed to push through uh, House. Uzi's got existence. RPK's answered back immediately. And then Sharks has just gone off big with uh, an AK. What were we saying about him having a quiet game? So he's just got a three-man there, and that's really turned around on its head. MBK now. And there he is. Shocks 
doing the business with a four man. And it might have been a spray down, but I tell you what, no one controls recoil better than him. So it makes it seven for three. Five more rounds to go. And very games are slacking. I mean, they need to pick up uh, rounds at a much higher rate at the moment. I'd say these days you do need at least five as terrorists going into the second half. I think anything other than that and you're in a real tough spot. So uh, all to do, 50% of these rounds really need to go the way of... Very uh, games, there's Nathan headbutting a nay. That's happened a few times this round. and Very hard to gauge uh, the very games kind of strats here. They really seem... Passive and uh, just kind of trying to bait out nades. We're going to get a little exchange here. Shock's going to re peak. Uh, he's dropped. He has dropped all the way. So I guess that's just smart. He just doesn't want to get caught out. Scream in the meantime has worked that one frag, but that's the decoy frag. You can see they're all up on mid. Apex has got the bomb, so I'm going to question the wisdom of him taking it arch side. So they're going to wait for the rotates to come in. And here they go. They're going to go back. Malik in the meantime is going to get existence. Who was left as kind of a decoy. They're surely going to get wind that this is a, a, a fake. But of course the guy on A site is so low. RPK with the Galil here. So that says everything you need to know about the money. And Scream is the guy that we was talking about there. With really low HP. If he peaks he's pretty much dead. Apex is going to get that first kill. Uzi's coming around uh, and trying to do the business from spawn. Scream stayed alive and now he's just going to run out onto the site. Scream's going to get that kill. And Uzi there having a little cheeky pop off at one of his teammates. So it's now a 3v2 situation in favour of the Dragons. Bomb is ticking though. So they need to start going in for the kill. RPK is going to work his Galil and get one. Uzi is going to get one. But RPK has got another. But Uzi's going to get that frag. And I'll tell you what. That can't have been uh, far off being a brilliant clutch from RPK. But in the end it's Uzi that's done just enough. It's 8-3 now. And it's so rare to see these clutch situations going against very games. They'll be uh, wondering what the hell's going on. They just won't be used to it. So, 11 rounds in. We go. There you go. This Scream. 19 for 5. He's having a great game. I'm not going to labour the point. Existence. Not such a great game. 2 for 8. MBK still top with uh, 10 for 9. But uh, usually, even as terrorists on this map, they do a lot better. So... Got another deco round by the looks coming in. And, uh, yeah, it's MK's going to... He's been the guy tasked with really working the house. And, again, would question the wisdom of him facing off with Shox in this manner. But Shox has been really passive. And, again, just fitting into what the team needs. We're going to get some contact down here. Oh, MK, please. You've not checked Boiler, have you? Of course you haven't. And Shox and Smiths, they're going off. Smiths has got two. Shock's got that entry frag there. Shock's getting another. This round is over. There's Shock's getting the last for MVK as he just jumps out. And, well, if MK just pre-fires that boiler, that round could be very, very different. And uh, I know the benefit of hindsight and all that, but still, I just think you would check there normally. So that's disappointing from him. 12 rounds played. Nine of them have gone to Dragons, the supposed underdogs. Going into this final, a team that came from the lower bracket. And Scream again gets that first kill. All these nades being just traded off now. Back and forth, back and forth. And again, it's just got to be said that they went really aggressive in the Pistol Dragons. Uh, and that worked for them. But uh, since then, they have been passive. And uh, I'm guessing Scream's kind of dropped into Arch here. And you can see Smiths is uh, the guy kind of up there in that position Scream's been playing. So that's a decision that they've obviously made based on spawn. We're going to go there back. And uh, Smiths is going to get two. Not sure how they were headshots. He was dropping off coils and running backwards. But as that happens, Existence is going to get him. So he's going to call... Uh, that maybe the, the bomb is down, so he should do. MK's going to get another one, and Existence has dropped back and flashed. He knows that he's got to go in and get that bomb. Knows there's one more on the site. It is Scream. 
and he's just in this kind of dance of uh, death, the uh, the terrorist tango. He's just waiting. No screams around somewhere. Trying to work it. He's blind, and there's Uzi pushing him around, and uh, from behind, it's another round that's gone to Dragons, and uh, at 10 for 3, I don't know, is it too early to say that Dragons have this map in the bag, because even if every games get the 5 now, the pressure on the pistol is so huge, and with the team they've got, Dragons, you know, the likes of Smiths and Shocks, they have got players that can make entry frags so again we've got this same setup here this 3-2 split three terrorists heading towards the apartments mk being the first in if he can get past rpk which he can't wedged in the door there a little bit embarrassing mk just uh not quite sure what he's doing except giving away his position there it's not a lot he's just gonna love that flash that should blind people on the site shocks of course is gonna be in the pit so well he, uzi's got two shocks i'm not quite sure what happened i don't know if he got flashed but uh, I was expecting big things, and instead of big things, we've got blind things. But there we go. He is going to get a headshot on MBK, showing just how uh, easy he makes it look. It's 11 for 3 of the Dragons, and Very Games are going to want this round. Otherwise, the pistol is so brutally crucial, it's going to just put them under so much pressure. But who would have thought you'd see Very Games in a final dominated like this, even if it is on a map with an inherent bias. So uh, we got what we call the old gypsy bar here. All the farmhouse guns are out, and uh, you can see a Galil. And look at this. Is this, uh, no, I was going to say, is this a double stack boiler? Well, they've ran out, and Uzi's just going to cotch him boiler. While that happens, Shocks, who's bust out the AWP from nowhere, is going to get one. But RPK's going to get him. MK's as well. He's going to get Shocks. So a uh, little bit of just, we don't care. We don't even need this last round from Thermal Take Dragons. But in the meantime, Very Games have got out. They've got on the site. They've got the plant down. MK's in the pole position in the pit, just looking through the wheels. And you can see, obviously, with the reduced graphics, what kind of view they would get with uh, a top player config there, you know. So... You can actually see through the gaps, and Smith has just ran on. Got two. He's gone at the full spray. MK, what are you doing? What was he shooting at? He's blind. It's all just cars. Is he going to get knifed? Oh, my God. Aim. And while that's happened, as the debut's gone, he reset himself. And <laughs> that was absolutely horrific. And the last round goes to uh, Thermal Tate Dragons. So, as you can see, the demos were recorded in halves, and we wanted to get them out as soon as possible, so we are going to record them in halves. Second half incoming uh, for what it's worth, and uh, we're going to get those playing now, because I'm guessing with the way the rounds have gone, it's, uh, well, it's probably going to be short, because what we saw there was very games dominated unable as terrorists to do anything so uh, we may as well go straight into the second half i, I don't know if i've got a feeling it's going to be uh, over quickly so pistol round could tie this up for the dragons let's see what they're gonna do And this is, again, what I call the sort of French pistol. It's where you just wait at uh, the, the spawn area, you know, T-steps, and you just wait for people to kind of push out, wait for the nades to come in the mid. It basically stops any CT push strats because you're in a much favourable position, especially with USPs if you switch uh, from Glocks, and it just pretty much locks it down. And while that happens, we've got Shocks, who's just making that opening kill. But MBK and MK have answered back, but here we go. The terrorists are pushing right in the spawn area. Now they've got a choice. They can double back and they can go for the easy plant in the site, or they can hold in that spawn area and uh, put pressure on the rotators. They've elected to go back and just play it safe, ninja up, get the bomb down, get it ticking away. I think that's the wise play. Apex is coming in. He's going to get a nade into the new box, which, of course, is the terrorist haven. He's going to get a face full of flash. Don't know what's going on here. I'm blind. But uh, Smiths has got one. He's took down an MK. So it's all on Apex now to make this uh, clutch. Trying to switch to clutch cam. we got Uzi. But Apex has got one. He's going to have to reload. He's going to get the other. 
And, uh, well, if he's got a kit, he should have the defuse. And there we go. Well, I tell you what, he might be the new kid for them, but uh, that makes it 12 for 4 in favour of uh, the Dragons. But this is going to give Very Games the platform now. We always talk about that platform because this game is so much about momentum. And, you know, ultimately, if uh, Thermal Tech Dragons take that pistol, given that they've just put together such a strong run of rounds uh, coming into the second half, you've got to favour them. You've absolutely got to favour them and just go on and just, you know, ridiculous 16-3 it. But they haven't took that pistol. It's 12 for 4. They're going to have to deco. They have got a plant, so I think we might see a third round by depending on, on this, how this round goes, and you can sort of see that being intimated by the fact Scream has gone full eco and kept a Glock. Obviously, know the price of the weapons that they want to get in the next round and how much money they've got. And you can see Smith just trying to bait some people out, just having a little check at that. Uh, there you are, and there he is, baiting the, uh, the bullets. It's always really annoying when you get that kind of shoulder peek. And Existence is going to get up there. Sorry, Smith is going to get up there, I should say. Going to get MK, who had a MP5. We're going to see a bit of a side to side from RPK. He's going to get a kill. MBK is going to get one. Malik's going to get MBK, but then RPK is going to switch to the pistol and mop it up to give it that second round. It's 12 for 5 overall. Two rounds in the half to the CT side. Very games. And uh, well, I've seen them make some comebacks, and you know, they are unflappable, but. This is a tall order. This is a very, very tall order. So, uh, we didn't see that third round by, so, uh, but they are going to deco it, and it looks like everyone can afford a deagle at the very least. So, I guess this is just about let's just go out strong and let's have a lot of money. Wow, Uzi's got that pick, but they did take a load of damage there. And they are just going to go at mid. They're going to go. I mean, these are aggressive strats in comparison to uh, how they played the CT. Uzi's going to get up there and get that frag. Shox is going to get another. And Uzi is now cleared for takeoff. He's going to get this plant down. Existence is just watching him do it, trying to work that burst fire. And you can see Apex as well is coming around at Arch. Uzi's just uh, he's in a hell of a spot here because... He, he knows that uh, people will check there if they run onto the site. One flash, and he can be dead. Shox has gone to the pit with a FAMAS, and it's all on Apex. I'd say he's got to make these kills. They've both decided to switch and come to quad. Shox is going to get the one. Malek is going to... Well, no, he's not going to get the other. Shox is going to get it. And there we go. The cycle is broken. They didn't even need a buy to stop that, and they just literally got out there. So aggressive on Arch. Four of them went up. They got the plant. They got the bomb ticking. They doubled up Pit. And it was so, so hard for Very Games. And it's not often you say that. So, overall, after the first three rounds, let's have a look at the score charts in the second half. It's Apex who's stepping up in existence. is just going to get an entry frag on Smiths there. But uh, we also got uh, Shocks at the top of the charts, which is where we're used to seeing him. Scream at the bottom yet to frag. Don't read too much into that because they've only won one round. And MK on two for three. So... And it, yeah, I was going to say, the implications here are now that uh, Very Games is going to have to perhaps deagle, and it looks like they are. MK just trying to work that angle, but uh, you can see here what's going on, that they're just creeping up mid. Are going to get a flash, and uh, MBK... Usually lethal with a farm ass. He's not going to make it count. And, uh, well, things are looking very bad for Very Games here. Uzi's got to kill MK. He's got one through the smoke somehow. And Shox, he's looking around. He doesn't know what's going on. He's just having a look. Scream is going to get MK wherever he was. And Shox is just kind of being a security guy. Just having a check. He knows there he is. Working his tap, tap aim. And he's confident about taking these guys on, but he's going to drop back and reload. Just let his teammates get the plant. And existence now has got a frag, so what Shock's going to do here? He's in a corner. He's going to go aggressive and go for the face. He's going to get it, but Apex is going to get screaming, and Shock's is going to turn around and get Apex. That's going to put it 14-5 uh, to five overall. And they are within touching distance of doing 50% of the unthinkable.
And I think the last time Berry Games actually even lost a map in a final, I think it was when 3D Max beat them. I'm not too sure if that's accurate. I need to check that. I don't have my stat book to hand at the moment. Just trying to get this out pretty quick. Smiths has got that entry frag, and you can see it's another Deagle. So they're going to basically hope that the Deagles can do the business, Berry Games. And then, if they do lose the round, buy and try and draw it up. Apex just running uh, out, trying to get uh, a cheeky one dig. Didn't quite come off. RPK does get the other one, and you can see what's happening. Uh, in the meantime, yep, there we go. Smiths has just been working his AK. Proves what a uh, versatile player he is. Best known for an AWPer, uh, being an AWPer, and uh, he's just working his rival at the moment. Well, you will. Curse of the commentator, because that was absolutely dreadful. Apex is going to get him. But uh, the bomb's ticking away, and things are looking very good for Thermal Take Dragons here. Apex just going to come round through the garden area. Is he going to be smelling the roses? Or oh, having them placed on his grave? He's got 9 HP and Scream just went into the absolute uh, mouse one deployed. And a bit of W. It's 15 to 5. Absolutely hell of a performance here from the Dragons. But uh, means nothing if they don't get this next round. we got drops occurring. And uh, obviously plenty of money. Just a quick look at who's been doing the damage. Shocks on 7 for 3 and Apex on 8 for 3. So Apex having a much better uh, CT half. We've got Existence here just trying to work his pick. He's going to drop back. Very games aren't going to do anything uh, too bold here. Because if they get caught out and get caught cold, it's going to cost them the map. So uh, going to have to dig in. But uh, they're going aggressive here, Dragons. And why not? They're confident, but Existence is going to get Smith. we got Malek. He's kind of jumping uh, ahead here. Just going to go for this plant at the barbecue. It's all too easy. Shocks with an AWP. Let's see what he's like with uh, the big green gun. RPK is going to get one with a USP. And Shocks is just at this new box here. You can see they're trying to spam him. Malik's going to get one. I'm staying on shots. I'm expecting a big thing. There it is. He's got a kill. He's going to quickly peek. Gets another on existence. They're busting out the GGs. And boom. Well, MK pulled off a great shot. It's too little, too late, though. And there we have it. Screen mop it up. And Thermal Take Dragons take a map off Ferry Games. Meaning that. If they win the next one, they go on to win Spirit Land. And there we go. We've seen the two uh, top French teams go at it. And uh, the underdogs, the slight underdogs, it's got to be said, have come out on top against the team of 2011. We're going to quickly bring you uh, the second map as soon as possible. But, of course, as I said at the start, these things do take a bit of time. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll have the second map. It'll be the next thing we get round to. So keep an eye on the Cadre Clips channels. And, of course, keep coming to cadred.org for all your esports needs. Peace.